With their contender bay boat in tow, Lane and George head south on US-1 for a short road trip to Isla Morada. Many tactics and techniques for backcountry and offshore fishing were pioneered on these waters by some of the sport's greatest legends as early as the 1920s. Today, Isla Morada boasts the largest concentration of charter fishing boats per square mile, claiming title as the sport fishing capital of the world. It's here the guys meet up with good friend and fellow charter captain, Brian William. The trio have plans to run west to the Cape of Florida, but first must stock the live well. Getting ready to catch me some Pilchardos. It's my favorite time of the day, Lane. It's my favorite time of the day watching you do it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Welcome. Look at them over here at our nine. Oh, they're just flipping crazy. I want pancakes for breakfast. No bananas, strictly pancakes. You see oh, just Jordan. sit right here. They're pouring by us. Okay. I have power pulled down. I don't move. Nice. There it is. That's why we keep them around, Brian. There it is. As I like to say every morning, got them. Oh, you got them, all right. <laughs> I got them. <laughs> got them again. <laughs> They're good size baits, too. Yeah, yeah, these are beautiful. If you had to pick one size bait, this would be it for almost everything. Candy. We got a lot of baits. I mean, uh, George, let's roll, baby. All right. Making our way through this creek, heading to another spot, we saw Captain Brian saw some tarpon roll. I got a nose hooked piltred, 40 pound fluorocarbon leader, 10 pound Is it pound a piltred? Braid. It's a pilchard. A pilchardo. Just wanted to know if we're speaking Italian or French or. Oh, whatever. A little bit of hey, Cajun crap You see that one that mouth. just rolled at 11 o'clock right under the trees? You see, his, you see his ring, George? Right here? Yeah, right there. Why George? Who's on the bow? Well, I mean, he is locking me. If, if anything should have got bit, it should have been that one right there. There's a little one just rolled out there on the slick. Dude, we Don't need worry. to throw a plastic here. We need to throw a little white jerk bait. Do it. Go get a bite. Uh oh, uh -oh. George is on. Uh oh, now we're having fun. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got them right where we want them, fellas. There we go, there's a bite, there's a bite. Get on him, Brian. Un double headed. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Come on, Lane, hurry up. Oh, do y'all want me to fish? I want you to catch one. I thought I was being the guide today, like always. Well, huh? You always use that excuse, I, and it's you, always wore that out. Rods you wore and that out. You wore that fish, right. Sweet, got a jumper. It's just one more appealing aspect to tarpon fishing, huh? You need some help, Brian? I no, I got it. Trouble. Could you hold this for me? Thanks. That's what it's all about. Start the morning out. That's right. Some poons. Yeah, baby. All right. Nice job. Back boys. in the water. Back nice in the job. water. Back in the water. Fish on. Nice. Nice. See that? See how I bowed to the little the little king? Wow. <laughs> Did that make him like a prince, maybe? <laughs> maybe. Just glad I could take a boat ride with you and Brian today and just hang out with you guys, you know? It's really not about catching fish for me, Brian, just so you know. It's about the tacos. It's about the tacos and camaraderie. <laughs> camaraderie, you know? yeah. Watching your friends catch all the fish. Right. It's the kind of guy I am. I enjoy that still. You know, I'm happy for you guys. And it shows, Lane. Well, you know, that's what makes a good guide. Big old, I'm guessing that's a crocodile. And he's coming over here to look at what we're doing. That's a big lizard. You might want to let that thing go quick. Yeah. He's, he's coming over to check this out. Hey, uh, no, nothing to see here, buddy. Please nothing disperse. To, nothing to see. Oh, no. Please disperse. <laughs> I'm serious. Get rid of that. <laughs> Get rid of it. <laughs> he's not scared of nothing. No. He, he heard our fish splashing and jumping and came out of this little creek. That's spooky, man. Well, that was fun. That was awesome, man. Catch some tarpon. We're gonna move on and uh, go up and uh, 
fish some dead wood and some stuff like that, right? Yeah, get it back up in some of the creeks and see if we can't catch a Goliath grouper. Or yeah, let's go do that. some more tarpon. This has been great right. so far, though. A lot of, lot of action back here. Fish guys! Fish, fish, fish.